Hey guys, so I'm sorry for the weird lighting. It is almost seven o'clock at night and I just wanted to come to show you guys, in case you were curious, what sorts of devices we send home with our patients for a home sleep test. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually bringing this out to the outline clinic tomorrow because um, one of our sleep patients is actually going to pick it up from me out there. So I'm gonna do the education process with him again and um, all of that good stuff. So I kind of wanted to show you what we actually send home with the patients for a home sleep test. Now, for those of you who have no idea what goes on with a sleep study, a home sleep test is way less intensive um, than a home sleep test. So first of all, I'm gonna show you what we send these home with our patients in. So we just give them a patient belongings bag and um, <clears throat> in that bag I will show you what we sent home. I can't show you everything because a couple of things in here have um, the patient's name on it. So we will send, normally we have, let me take this off. So the page that I can't show you is a bedtime questionnaire and a morning questionnaire. So it asks questions about um, like, has their day been unusual? How much sleep did they get last night? Did they take a nap? Did they have any alcohol, any caffeine, any nicotine, any physical exercise? Do they have any physical complaints? Um, what time did they wake up in the morning? How tired do they feel? How sleepy do they feel? Did they take any sleeping medications? Um, and then the morning questionnaire they take when they wake up in the morning. And that is... How long do you feel you were asleep? How does this compare to your usual amount of sleep? How many times do you remember waking up? Do you have any physical complaints? Do you remember any dreams from last night? How refreshed do you feel when you woke up? Is your nose or mouth dry? <clears throat> so what we use to send with our patients is the watch pet. So this is the actual instruction sheet that we give our patients. I actually went through and highlighted all of these before I printed out the copies for our patients. So this is just the instructions I highlighted um, the important points. So there is a back to this as well as a front, obviously. So um, it kind of explains step by step what they need to do. It also gives them information about what each aspect of the system is and what it does um, so I'm not gonna go over the instructions step by step because I don't feel like you need it unless you're actually doing this um, but then it has like the phone number to call and all of that good stuff so let me show you the little case and we do usually send tape home with them as well I didn't put any tape in here because we sent him home with an entire roll of tape um, two days ago. So this is the little case that it comes in. So as you can see, it says watch pat. Um, and this is just a zipper case and it has a little carrying handle. Um, so let me take everything out of here and show you what is in here. All right, so sorry, I was taking anything that could be um, something that shouldn't be seen out of here. So this is how it comes. There is no nice way to put these in here that I've found yet. They kind of just sit in there how they go in there. Um, however, you can get them to fit. So <clears throat> this right here, these always get so tangled. So this right here is a um, lead that they would put, like we instruct them on how to use these. This is a sticky piece, the white peels off and then it's sticky underneath. So this, you find where the bone starts right here and they would stick it there. Um, 
then from there this is the watch that actually goes on the patient's wrist and this part goes on their finger so this is like a pulse ox um, I don't know how well you can see that in there but it does get sticky so that like as the patient moves while they're asleep um, or trying to sleep it doesn't dislodge so that is what this is for they can pull this off and the whole stickiness occurs um, so then once they have this on and they have this on then they just hit the little power button and it will cycle through like a system test of the machine we already set this up with the patient's um, information their name insurance all of that stuff so we set this up in the sleep center before it gets given to the patient so then when it comes back then we can just plug this in to the computer and download all of the information and do our report and give it to the physician um, once we have written our report so it's really that simple and again I'm gonna put this in here and honestly I feel like I would have never known like how just how much information is actually needed for like a sleep test like a sleep study um and since i started working in this job today was only my third day by the way and they already trust me to do this by myself to do the whole education portion with this patient i mean yes we did educate him the first time but for whatever reason his test didn't actually work like it was supposed to um, so we're having him repeat it obviously um, and then once they are done with this they bring it back to us like I said we download the report and um, then we write our own report with recommendations and we provide that to the physician who will then do his thing and move on from there sometimes they are diagnosed with sleep apnea. Sometimes they are diagnosed with other disorders. Sometimes they're just not diagnosed with anything. Sometimes they need some sort of device or machine. Sometimes they don't. Um, if you guys would like more information, I can share more information. Obviously, I am a currently non-certified sleep tech going through the training process. I have not started with my A steps yet. For those of you who are familiar with the um, polysomnographic technician training process, um, I do have quite a bit left to go, but I just thought that I would share that with you in case anybody was interested in like what actually happens with a home sleep test, what comes in the box, and all of that good stuff. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions about sleep medicine or working as a sleep tech, anything like that, I would love to share with you. I realize that there's not a whole lot of videos about this stuff on YouTube. Um, so yeah, anyways, I just thought I would share and yeah, I will talk to you guys next time.